we have had quite the match this week, Manchester United and Liverpool. Not not even the best Manchester game. Oh, but, um, well, I mean, at least this Manchester won. <laughs> ugh, yeah. <laughs> um, obviously, tremendously disappointed. Um, mm. You know, I, I, I think I bagged out both Sancho and Rashford last week, and, um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. you know, that is exactly why they scored. No other reason. Uh, That's, it's funny you say that. I will get into that soon. Um, yeah, I, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm really just dis- really disappointed to at least not have, um, taken a point. And I'm, I'm thinking that, <sighs> look, we haven't replaced Mane. We just straight up have, we haven't replaced Sadio Mane. Um, well, I mean, you got, you got Darwin Nunes. Yeah. It's, he's it's, not a replacement. It's. It's getting there though. Like, look, I he's mean, a di- he's a different type of player. Yeah, but you he have... might play a similar. He yeah. might play in the forward three, but he's not the same player. I mean, but you still have. Well, it's more about the injuries because normally you would still have Diego Yota, and you do have Luis Diaz. So I don't know. I don't. And I Diaz, is, Diaz has definitely been our best player so far. Three games in, um, quite easy to say. But mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, no, I'm I'm extremely confident to say. Well, I mean, you know, you, you you can't predict things that haven't happened. But um, if we had Mane, I'm I know that we would have beat Crystal Palace, and I know that we would have beat Fulham. And I'm fucking annoyed um, because we probably would have put up a much better. But he, everyone looks exhausted. Oh uh, yeah, and when yeah. The, I mean, and when that shit's happening, Mane is a guy who who just doesn't. He seems limitless. Possibly, but look, I mean, you don't have you don't have Mane all season. It seems kind of pointless to me for you to even use that excuse. It, and that's what it I'm sounds like. It ex- sounds I'm, like an excuse. I'm not, I'm not using an excuse. I'm saying I'm saying we really miss him, and we really haven't replaced him. I don't know, man. I yeah. Again, I just don't think that's. That's not no. the reason we lost. <laughs> yeah, we, well, we look, lost because we, we let a team who have not looked intense for about three years out intense us. Yeah, um, well, well look, I mean, they looked, they built this intensity. It's it it, it did reappear. But 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 first, sorry, I just want to talk yeah. about what, what you said first. Was that the looking exhausted? Well, look, I mean, I think that that's probably more accurate because I'm, from what I understand, you guys played literally every game last season. Is that right? Because you played... Oh, yeah, every available game, yes. Yeah, you played every available game because you won two, two domestic cups. You played every league game, obviously, and then you went to the final in the Champions League. And did you have Community Shield as well? Uh, at the start of last season, no. Oh, so well, either way. Neil, but obviously... Neil, but, yeah. but our preseason would have been shorter than everyone else's, apart from City's, um, because of the community chest. Oh yeah, true, and and so and that was coming off after Euros as well, and then you had Africa Cup of Nations for uh, Mane yeah. and for Salah. So it's a lot of games, and yeah. the the trend that we have seen over the last say well four seasons or so was liverpool would go absolutely hundies one season and you know score an insane amount of points or win the champions league or whatever and then the next season they would have to rest and recuperate (laughs) so because you had that COVID season too where you dipped a bit and so i don't know maybe maybe it's just the the intensity that you guys play at is not sustainable long term um, you know, you, I think you're right. That's definitely part of it. Um, and I think, um, we st- the the fresh players that we have are all like nineteen. Yeah, so I think as by, they should be. 
Well, yeah, but what I mean is we have, like, our squad's crying out for a new, like, attacking midfielder. We need, we need more, we need more attacking, like, thrust from the midfield. The midfield um, has been there to create, and we've basically been gliding on the front three's goals, which is, like, fine. But when you get to this point when all of them are injured or suspended, lol, mm. um, you need someone else who just who, who will score, who will, will pick a killer. We, we need a De Bruyne, basically. And I know De Bruyne is one of a kind for sure. But um, I, but I wouldn't we, say you guys need... have had that recently. I mean, you've always played with sort of holding midfielders. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm saying. We need. And we need that variable. We need someone to turn to who can do that. I mean, we've been saying this. I feel like you and me have had this conversation for years now. Like yes. that you've always needed to sign an attacking midfielder, but I just don't think it I don't think that would work in your system. I think you need you need too many mid all your midfielders need to drop deep. That's the way they play in that in club system. And the other thing with nah. that is who who was your midfield? I'm pretty sure you, the third you played Henderson, Milner, and your third midfielder was Harvey Elliott. Is that right? Uh, Milner, Henderson, Deep, and Harvey Elliott on the right side of the midfield three. Okay, right. So I mean, I mean that's kind of like that's your attacking midfielder, isn't it? And then the replacement for that is is Carvalho. Yeah, exactly. Two yeah. guys with nearly no experience in the Premier League. Um, and like a lot of promise. Don't get me wrong, a lot of promise. I, I love them both. Um, but Harvey, to not Harvey start, played really well. To, I, I agree. But to not start this game with um, Fabinho is absolutely insane in my eyes. No, he was he wasn't ready. He was he he got injured. He picked up a small injury and wasn't fully fit. So he only could only play thirty minutes. Fair enough then. Yeah. So he came on at the end, but. Yeah, he won. We, we, like, we should have had him play the first 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, and well, that's what I was going to say before, too. With the, the last time that you guys had the season where you dipped, that was the same season when you had three center backs injured. I think that the injuries yeah. come along with the exhaustion as well. It's not yeah, just a totally, stamina, totally right. it's a the body gives up, too, you know? physically physiologically so yeah look um, yeah. but look i think i will agree that even i cast off man united on this one it was so it seemed so obvious to everyone uh but we we sort of played you at the best time and because you got 10 injuries <laughs> and a red card so it yeah in a way maybe i shouldn't have been so surprised but uh yeah, even I was skeptical after us losing 4 0 in our last game was pretty embarrassing. So, yeah, you know, I'm very pleased, obviously, not not even necessarily because, no, okay, it's good because it's Liverpool, but to win a match, that was good. We needed that. <laughs> yeah. And, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, and of course, our goals from a, a very nice goal from Jaden Sancho, who oh, uh, put James huge. Milner on the ground. Oh, some say he is still sliding. Yeah, and and after that too. So yeah, Jaden Sancho, Sancho slots that goal pretty nice, and then Milner has like a massive go at Van Dyke because Correct, correctly as well. Yeah, because I I didn't notice it the first time, but if you look, he like it's real. He's real standoffish. Like it's quite. He needed to yeah, dive he, in. He's not like th th there's only one thing that he's gonna do at that point. So like. Take a step forward. Make yourself big. You're a defender, mm. and you're already big. What you what what, what are you doing? Mm. So yeah, good good goal there from Sancho. Uh, but to be honest, aside from that, barely saw him for the rest of the game. So uh, you know, whatever did his part. Uh, Elanga also hit the post in the first half, which was very nearly a goal, but he was then he should, subbed off. He, he should have scored. I know it was a one. -on well, it's a tight angle, one on one. But I mean, that's it. A more mature player would. 
that's a th- he's our Harvey Elliott, you know. That's that's kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And so Martial came back on, which was good to see him again. And then he he was part. He was of, good. Yeah, he played well. He set up Rashford's goal, which was another one on one, which he scored very nice. It was nice to see Rashford gaining a bit of confidence again and playing pretty playing hard. And yeah, again, I I think we looked in complete disarray on. But, well, but on both goals, really. Like, I've never, mm. I don't know how you could, like, the first one, I don't know how you can have so many people in the box and not, none of them are moving to defend mm. anything. The second one, look, it happens. You have, we play a high line, yeah. we have Allison, who's basically the best one on one goalkeeper in the world. Um, and, and it didn't happen. And, we, you know, sometimes mm. you fuck it up. And, it was it was an um, the through ball was actually um, like incredible. It was a really oh, good through ball from and, and Rashford's run was timed to a T, you know, and even yeah. obviously there was a, a a big offside shout on this one. But from what I understand, the way that the way that this the ruling happened was because I mean he was offside slightly, but you are now given a five centimeter tolerance. The att- in in favor that because they draw the line thicker now, and so because of right. the, because of the five centimeter tolerance, he appears offside in the camera, but he's actually not. That's within the tolerance. Yeah, and because Joe like- Joe Gomez's head is like leaning kind of backwards, so yeah, but it was close, <laughs> and then. Yeah, and then so of course Sulla did claw one back, but to be fair, that was quite that was quite messy. You know, I think it was from a set piece, and then he got the sort of oh, follow up. Very, very messy goal. Very yeah, messy goal. it did. It messy, didn't. Messi feel... would be proud of it. <laughs> well, it didn't feel like you guys had any kind of control on that game, even though you had seventy percent, seventy one percent possession in that game. Didn't yeah, I'm really sick of it. didn't really create much with it. And yeah, exactly. I know getting sick of it is it's absolutely horrendous that we can like we had more shots than you fair enough but i expect a lot more of those to be on target and to be threatening and to Mm. you know united had i think i think it was four shots on target one of them was that ericsson free kick Mm -hmm. um, which was clawed out of the top corner Mm -hmm. and then two of them were goals yeah and i think yeah, I mean, your ones weren't particularly threatening. There was the uh, yeah. ones like a Milner shot from like a really tight angle. And then one of them was Fabinho's header when he subbed on. And that was, again, it was a comfortable save. There, De Gea wasn't particularly tested. So no. it, it, I think it's just because you guys lost that midfield battle. And that meant you had to play out on the wings more. And then I felt like Malassia and Dello just played out their skin in that game. Like, I'm so impressed how Malassia was able to keep Salah quiet that game. And then... Oh, that was... You, mm. you, you, um, you sent praise to, to Varane, and he was good, but um, oh, yeah. Malassia was... Like, was that his debut? Uh, yeah. Premier League debut, I think. But amazing. Um, like... Oh, it's first start. Sure shouldn't... Luke Shaw, okay, fair enough. We'll, we'll count that. Um, Luke Shaw shouldn't come back. Well, Is he yeah. hurt? Uh, no, 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 no. He just, it was just a, a rotation or a trying. Well, Malice is just hungry. Yeah. Different, different tactic. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Luke Shaw looks pretty hungry to me, mate. <laughs> no, he's already eaten. That's the thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, Good point. Luke Shaw's not hungry because he's eaten. Yeah, well, so, well, actually, uh, <laughs> so everyone was giving, I think everyone gave Martinez man of the match, and he did actually make team of the week after that performance. But in my eyes, I actually thought Varane was better. Varane must have, well, I don't think Varane made a single mistake in that game at all, and he won so many headers. It was incredible. And, like, unlike... Harry Maguire, who wins headers, he actually uses the header to pass the ball to... It's not just a clearance. 
It was. <laughs> He's like, oh, but boss, I can head the ball. Is you have got we've got refer for that. Yeah, and, and he can make a pass. It's also a clearance. And, yeah, and then look that that pairing of Varane and Martinez is just top draw. I oh, it's stylish. It needs to stay. It needs to stay like that. And um, yeah, I think that that should be your basically your starting pair. Yeah, for, as long as you can. Um, it, I think having honestly, if we had Nunes. That really would have helped because we've we've seen that Martinez um, has been a shall we say doubtful on on the high ball, but for for the most part, when it's played on the ground, he's really stylish. He's it's what he loves. Oh man, he 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 tackles hard. He's got good long balls, good passing. Yeah, no, he's a good, he's, a, he's a good, good player. Good clearances from his own teammates. Mm. Learns from his mistakes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was hilarious. That was like, amazing. It felt like uh, Bruno was just trying to do his best to like get sent off or yeah, score, score an own goal. goal. Yeah, I know. It was, <laughs> that was pretty funny. So that 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 the whole the ball holding stuff after the Salah goal was pretty embarrassing. I look. He's wearing the he wore yeah. he wore, wore the armband, and I was like, oh, come on, that's not a good yeah. look, man. You got to do a bit better than that. Yeah, I re- I really hate what, like even even when my team does it, I I hate I I, I really hate it. It's, mm. He had a dive, like, as, he had a dive as well, to be honest, and he got a yellow card for yeah, it. Yeah, naughty boy. Um, so oh, is there anything else I want to say? Uh, anyway, yeah, I, look, I couldn't couldn't be happy with that result. That's that's good. Needed a win anyway, and that actually puts us above Liverpool now because we have three points and you guys have two. <laughs> oh, so, ho, ho. But uh, the one thing I wanted to say was that, okay, so this is why we won. Because this is, this is hilarious. Okay, so you know how after the Brentford match, they uh, outran Manchester United by 13.8 kilometers. And, so, yeah, and then they made them do it in training. Yeah, but do you know what else? Uh, no, go on. Eric Ten Hag ran with them. He, he too oh. did the 13.8 kilometer run. At fifty extremely at, at fifty two years old, <laughs> and so extremely based, yes, unbelievably based, and so he, yeah, he ran and apparently it, it, it absolutely destroyed him, completely shattered his body because he's fifty two, and so because the, the the best part about it was everyone was complaining like that that day because they got called in off their day off to do this run as punishment and then eric's just like yeah well i'm running with you and then it was dead silence no one had the balls to complain at all i wouldn't no way and then and then so because of that they ended up running roughly 14 kilometers more than they had in the last game in the Liverpool match, and they made wow fifty one more sprints than Liverpool in that match, which is a hell of a yeah, hell like of a turnaround. Saying, we were we were we were out intensed by a team mm. who effectively haven't looked well, intense. Well, this is how you build intensity. This is how you create intensity. Because I'm not done. There is one more thing that Eric Ten Hag did as well. So it's <laughs> he gets balls out. <laughs> Just almost. Uh, so what? So what he did is uh, he used the art of external criticism. So what he did is he went and printed off a pile of headlines that explained about how shit Manchester United are, and <laughs> with things that say like uh, United simply aren't good enough, uh, Liverpool to win five nil again, can't run, wow. n- not a team, gonna be relegated, and he even printed off statistics. That covered like the distance ran, like their passing percentages, clearances, and he posted them all around the training ground and in the changing rooms. So everyone would be staring at it all day. <laughs> That's amazing. Basically, just to get them in the frame of mind for winning this match. And honestly, I, th- it's a w- I think it works. It's the world's weirdest team talk. Yeah. Well, I think maybe they did need a bit of shame. You know, like I think it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think I think you're probably right. Like certainly thinking outside some the box. Point, at some point, you know, you, you have all these players with like massive egos, and I'm not sort of 
I'm not pinpointing anyone in particular, but it's not important. Um, with big old egos, and they you like don't deserve them, mm. and they kind of need to be cut down to to size a little bit. Mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I think there is a few divas in that dressing room, and to be honest, to be honest, Klopp should do that as well. Yeah, it's genius. No, honestly, I'm, I'm so impressed. I actually, it's actually what tomorrow's video is on. I've already made it, so that's that's what the video will nice. be. Nice. <laughs> so pretty cool. I'm I'm thoroughly impressed with that. That's, I, dude. Honestly, if that's our coach, man, fuck yeah. I'm I'm so down for that. What a G. 